I just arrived back in uh, in London, I uh, flew back from Phoenix, it was like 10 hours, which probably wasn't the uh, first choice to be on a plane in this situation, but the, all the airports pretty empty, baggage claim is empty, We've got the heat through here, is nobody here really, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a ghost town, but that's the, the situation we're in, and um, yeah, looking forward to getting home now. Uh, 7.25 this morning, Sunday morning, um, slept like three hours last night, jet lag, come back from the States, um, yeah, went to bed at like 1.45, woke up at 5.15, lay in bed for like an hour, couldn't sleep, it was like right, let's get up, get to the gym, do have a match for another like two to three months probably, but yeah, let's, let's get after it guys, the journey never stops. How much you got to pay me? <laughs> Ali was your night 25, she was absolutely creaming me, but she landed on two of my hotels. <laughs> and now the game's changed so much. <laughs> London is kind of uh, getting quieter and quieter actually when we first got back. Kind of streets were busy and uh, everyone was kind of doing their own thing, going about their own lives, but now um, it's fairly quiet on the streets and I think people are kind of uh, kind of forced home through work and obviously a lot of uh, pubs, clubs, restaurants, bars, all that stuff being shut down so there's not that, uh, there's not that much for, for people to do. Yeah, I see a lot more runners in the streets actually, a um, few more masks, uh, a few gloves but nothing too, uh, too crazy. Um, me, I've not really been up to much, um, Wimbledon is still open actually, the clubhouse and everything is closed but the, the courts are still still open for the members so they can go and uh, use them so if I want to practice I can uh, I can go practice it's a bit weird actually because obviously now there's three months of no of no tennis so the kind of motivation to go out and practice every day is just not there because there's nothing really to to prepare for um, and I think if I'm, I'm sure like most players if you practice every day for the next few months you'd go you'd go crazy by the time you you get back out on the tour so um, yeah, I kind of maybe hit a couple of times a week just to kind of keep my eye on and stuff. And then, um, you know, as we have more of an idea of what's going to go on, then uh, start to train kind of more regularly. I'll do quite a bit of gym stuff and stuff, try to keep fitness up. And yeah, who knows what's going to happen with the tour. I mean, obviously a lot of tournaments getting getting cancelled. Um, are they going to extend the season? Will they play into sort of November, December? Obviously they got the tour finals in London booked out of the O2. That's I imagine that's probably impossible to to change the dates of that to still be held at the O2 if they want to uh, extend the season. But um, yeah, I guess the I guess the ATP are working on all sorts of uh, different things just now to try and come up with the best solution for the for the tour. 